they should be with their families, but they are here to push towards the agenda that we have to promote our railways and business in Zimbabwe through the provision of rolling stock. I also want to acknowledge the team here. Uh, this time around, um, Mr. Chairman, we came with a high-powered team. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we have uh, the board member in terms of international relations, the general Zen. Uh, Patel and uh, he's originally from India so deliberately he's leading this effort <laughs> uh, he's Zimbabwean uh, but uh, we want to tap into his uh, relations with, uh, with you and his origins here so specifically you can't talk about us uh, in your language when he's here <laughs> so he's our spy <laughs> Also, we have uh, quite high protocols here. I will start with uh, the acting uh, general manager, Mr. Mandire. Last time we had Ms. Respina Zinatoko, who for health reasons could not come. Mr. Mandire is acting in a place. He's one of our regional managers for Harare. Uh, Ms. Mandire, yes. We also have with us our parent ministry, the portfolio minister of transport, they have taken interest in this deal and they are saying we want to show our physical support. So they delegated a senior officer with a deputy director in the ministry in charge of rail. Uh, there he is, uh, engineer Joa, Daniel Joa, and um, we have uh, with the railway side, you know. Uh, they love more already, <laughs> yes. you know, our engineer Katona. But uh, we have government at a very high level, uh, the office of the president and cabinet. Where this deal came from, as you remember, the background to our coming here was uh, when our president visited Mozambique and he was very impressed by the rolling stock, the locomotives, uh, the wagons, and uh, the DMUs he saw there. He directed us that we must procure the earliest opportunity to recapitalize NRZ. So he sits in the office of the president and cabinet in charge of parastate house, they are formed and everything. It's not his best in John Bondi. Uh, it's with us here. So he's uh, the president's eyes and ears here. Uh, we have uh, the financier, our treasurer represented here. You remember last time we didn't have anyone from Treasury and our engagement with uh, China in the Ministry of External Affairs were a bit uh, not complete. So they are putting up the financial package for this whole deal. So they have taken interest and they finance our government and our parasitals. We have uh, two of them. Uh, the lady uh, precious here with us. with us also very senior officials in the in the, in the, in the, in the, in the Minister of uh, Finance. Uh, why we brought this complete team is that we want to cut on uh, the usual government bureaucracy. We also want the decision makers that constitute the support structure of the National Railroad of Zimbabwe, which like rights is only owned by the government of Zimbabwe. Our shareholder is the government of Zimbabwe. So these are shareholder representatives, yes. and uh, they are all aware of the historically they attend our annual general meetings. They all are aware of the background of NRZ and the necessity that His Excellency the President is put to recapitalize it and restructure it and move it forward. So it's a team that has been dedicated to at various level to assisting the National Railways of Zimbabwe. Uh, that is why we have brought this whole team. And we also want to negotiate quickly, come out with timelines for delivery. Yes. Our timelines are very, very ambitious. We want a very shortest possible timeline because the railway has been the missing link in our economic transformation agenda and uh, the National Development Strategy 1. The railway is an economic enabler for both freight and passenger. Is a clear missing link in our economy. So they've come.
come here to support the effort and um, we meet all the technical uh, hassles, the contractual issues thrashed out uh, here and now. And uh, when we were delaying your apologies, we were saying, no, we'll come next week, we'll come next week. We were undergoing consultative processes uh, that would enable us, all of us, to come here with something on the table. We didn't want to come here just to waste time and talk and so forth. So they come here ready to ensure that this project goes forward. Uh, and uh, we hope the deliberations will be fruitful, and we hope that um, this again will become a, an initial due diligence by them of the capacity of rights to deliver the rolling stock that we require. So those are the two main objectives. We deal with uh, the initial contractual legal framework and the financing option, and also deal again with uh, an assessment of uh, your capacity. Your capacity is also measured from what the president saw in, uh, in, in Mozambique. So you come highly recommended, and uh, we are friends. India and Zimbabwe share very excellent relations. Not so long ago, almost a month ago, you hosted uh, Her Excellency, the First Lady of the Republic. Zimbabwe, and we are pleased that Rice is a company hosted the for lunch. They hosted the for lunch, and she sends her home regards and uh, thanks for your reception and your donations for our charity in Zimbabwe. We want to thank you for having honored our first lady uh, yeah, highly and uh, your home hospitality and reception. With those few, few remarks, I want to thank you once more. And, uh, I will always smile. I don't know why I was born smiling. <laughs> <laughs>